Hi everyone, I'm Marcy, and today I'm making Crock-Pot Zuppa Toscano, which is a creamy potato soup made with Italian sausage and kale. Now I know there are a lot of Olive Garden copycat recipes out there, but this one that I found about four or five years ago is by far my favorite. So hit that subscribe button and get ready to cozy up to one of the best bowls of soup ever. Now that it's starting to get a little colder outside, I love making soups. And Zuppa Toscana is one of those hearty soups that my family never gets tired of. I like it because I can get it all going in my crock pot first thing in the morning, and right about the time we're all home and hungry, it's ready to eat. So here's what you're going to need, and I'll go ahead and put this in the description box below as well. You'll need six large russet potatoes, one pound ground hot Italian sausage. Now you can do mild if you don't like spicy foods, but I think it's that little kick that really makes this recipe. You'll also need a big bunch of kale, half of white onion chopped, three garlic cloves, 32 ounces of chicken broth, 16 ounces of heavy cream, about half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, and I almost forgot the salt and pepper to taste. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to cook the sausage in a frying pan until it's brown. To it, I'm going to add the chopped onion and the garlic and let that get translucent. When it's all cooked, I'll transfer the sausage mixture into my crock pot that is set to low. Then I'll get to work on the potatoes. I just peel and cut them into bite-sized cubes. Now I'll take the cut potatoes and put them into the crock pot. I'll open the container of chicken broth and pour the entire thing in. You want to make sure the potatoes are completely covered with liquid. If they're not, feel free to add a little water. And that's it. I'm going to let it cook on low for five to six hours and then I'll put in the final ingredients. But for now, I'm just going to go about my day while enjoying the wonderful aroma. It's been five hours, so I'm going to chop up the kale into bite-sized pieces. Of course, this has already been washed. I'll pour the heavy cream into the crock pot, then I'll add the kale. And stir it all up. I know it looks like a lot, but this is all going to cook down, so put in a little at a time and try to get it all covered with the liquid. I then mix in the Parmesan cheese and season with salt and pepper. And I'm just going to let this all cook 30 minutes more until the kale becomes tender. All done, and I can hardly wait to dig in. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and serve myself. Now, I like to sprinkle a little extra braided Parmesan cheese on top, and then crack some fresh black pepper. Doesn't that look delicious? And because of the garlic, the smell just, uh, it's fantastic. I'm gonna blow on it just a little and give it a taste. Mm. Those potatoes just melt in your mouth. I love this so much. You know, it's a really hearty soup. It's got, um, it's really creamy, it's a little spicy. You've got the flavors from the Italian sausage, 
and who knew kale could be this good? I'm telling you, this is a recipe you'll make again and again. Thanks so much for checking out my video. I post one new recipe every week, so be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss them. You can also follow me at Marcy Inspired on Instagram and Facebook. Until next time, blessings from my kitchen to yours. <laughs>